look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew 6. Is it confusion, bravery, or stupidity that sends the robin ahead of spring? It is said that after the first spotting of a robin, one can expect three more snows. There might be some truth to that. The robin looks so vulnerable on that nearly bare branch covered with ice and snow or hopping around on a snowbank. Thank goodness for the leftover seed pods of the sumac and the remaining berries of the high bush cranberry. But for that, what would sustain it? Miraculously, robins have been given an internal body temperature of 104 degrees and can tolerate a 100 degree difference between its internal temperatures and the outdoor temperature. It is the design of the feathers that provide insulation. Robins can withstand the cold. Robins come early because the food it enjoys prefers 37 degree temperatures. The worms and insects it loves surface and are easy picking. If it gets too warm, the protein dives down deeper into the soil and makes for a hard meal to secure. So coming just as the soil thaws is to their benefit. The balance and provision nature provides is nothing but miraculous. Whether we want to talk about the brilliance of nature's adaptation to change or the marvel of a design to it all. Isn't it wondrous? There really is no end to what one can learn about the world we have been gifted, including the ability to marvel. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your Heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? And from Philippians 4. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Dear Lord, thank you for wonder and ponderings, pauses and prayers. The opportunity to see nature through new eyes and to see your love over it all.